Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I just want to talk you through one of my favourite target species, the Humble Flathead. It's a great target species for those wanting to get into soft plastics as well because they're, they're easily accessible, they love eating lures and they're not bad on the chew either if you want to eat one or two as well, take a couple home with you. I generally fish soft plastics for them and on the higher, higher sections of the tide, when the tide's right up and in there, I like to get up and in around the edge of the mangroves, up on top of the flats. But this is probably my favourite time to target flathead and it's the last two hours of the run out and the first hour of the run in. Those flathead are on the edges, concentrated, waiting for the last of that water to move off the flats and they just lay in wait and pick up that bait that comes up off the flats. In terms of plastics, I like a paddle tail. Some people like a curl tail um, or different types of different styles of plastics. But for me, that paddle tail's got lots of action in it and it represents a bait fish like a whiting or a mullet that, that flathead love to eat. So I'll generally fish my way between a two and a half inch slim swims from Z-Man, three inch Z-Man slim swims, and then a three inch minnows, which is a, a larger, bulkier profile for when the bait's larger or the fish are more aggressive. But those three sizes in a paddle tail, two and a half, the three inch thin profile, and that three inch fatter profile of the three inch minnows are a great starting point. People often hit me up about color as well, and I say, look, Get three colours. Make sure you've got a natural light coloured plastic for when the water's really clear or it's a very bright day. Something in a darker colour like that gold rush for when the water's really dirty, like often a run out tide the water will dirty up and that gives you a better silhouette in the water. And then I also keep a fluoro in the boat as well, whether it's a chartreuse glow or uh, an electric chicken. And sometimes, you know, if they won't eat that natural one, they won't eat the dark one, throw your hands in the air, put on a fluoro, boom, you catch a fish, it's amazing. Uh, also, I generally sent them up uh, with a Procure mullet or pilchard are my favourites, but there's a stack of different flavours in the Procure range, and that sticks on the plastic really good. I apply it every 30 casts or so, or if I, do, if I get a fish, I'll often put a little bit more on there as well. And people also ask me in terms of jig head size and jig head weight. So in that little Slim Swims 2.5, I'll run a 1.0 hook. I'll run a 2.0 in the Slim Swims 3 inch and I'll run a 3.0 in that 3 inch minnows. And in terms of weight, if I'm right up on the flats, I might go a one eighth, come out to those edges and I'll go to a quarter ounce. And if I'm fishing deeper water, I'll go to a 3 eighth or I'll go to a half. Rod and reel wise, you know, something just a light spin stick, like a seven foot uh, medium rod and a, a 30 size reel like that little Akuma Seamar is a beautiful little reel for flicking soft plastics. And, you know, just give it a crack on those tides, that lower time of the tide, and you'll, yeah, you'll be surprised. Once you, get in, once you get the knack of it, just make sure you're covering plenty of ground, and once you get a fish or two, concentrate in that area. Retrieve-wise, I use probably three main retrieves. I'll use a slow roll when I'm up on the flats, and all that is is cast out, allow the plastic to hit the bottom or just get above the bottom, and just slow roll it, slow wind it back, and you'll often just get a hit when the fish are aggressive and they're up hunting on those flats. When I come into the edges here, I'll generally fish a burn and kill or I'll hop the plastic. So a burn and kill, cast it out. The burn is your wind and the kill is your pause. So wind, 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 pause, let the plastic hit the bottom again. The flathead's on the bottom, so you wanna make sure you're hitting the bottom. Wind, 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 pause. You can vary the length of the pause, the kill, and you can vary the speed of the burn and also the duration of the burn as well. And then hopping is probably the most popular way to target a flathead. Cast it out there. Let that plastic get to the bottom. Hop, hop, wind up the slack as you let that plastic fall back to the bottom. Hop, hop, and often the, as it sinks back down, the flathead will grab it, and when you go to hop again, you've got the weight, you've got the fish. Set the hook, and away you go. So there you go, there's a few basics on the flathead. You'll find plenty more on our website as well, tacklethactics.com.au. We'll see you on the water.